with a Gary Owen. All right, what's good, homies? Welcome back to another Vodafone Warriors career video. We're in round 13, getting ready to take on the Rabbitohs, so we're currently sitting at 11th. Now, before we get into it, smash that like button for more Rugby League Life 3 content. As with every other video, it indicates to me whether you'd like to see the series or not. Anyway, we're coming off a three-game win streak. The Rabbitohs are looking inconsistent, coming off a win, though before that, lost three in a row. All right, so let's take a closer look at their most recent performance here. They're coming off a fairly convincing win against the Titans, beating them on the road, 24 points to 14. As we take a closer look here, 4 tries to 2, Adam Reynolds was perfect off the boot and Kyle Turner earned a man of the match performance. Alright, so let's get into the game here. They've got Inglis, Johnston and Gray as the back 3. In the centres they've got Heimel Hunt, Dane Nielsen. In the halves, Cody Walker and Adam Reynolds. Their back row, Sutton, Burgess and Turner. And in their front row they've got Tom Burgess, George Burgess and Robbie Farrer. As for our starting side, we've made a couple of changes due to poor form. It's pretty much just a shift in the forward pack. So we've got Bodine Thompson starting for Charlie Gubb, who's been dropped completely, and we've brought Lingy Sao onto the bench. Getting started with the Rabbitohs here, in the attacking zone, Reynolds puts up the bomb, gets batted back, scooped up by Aaron Gray, and he's on a score in the corner here. That was a well-placed kick. As the Rabbitohs draw blood first, Adam Reynolds from the sideline pretty much nails the two points. So an early lead of six. Back on attack, 19th minute as we attack their short side. Vatsuva here at first receiver, he's gonna take a hit up, doing what he does best, running people over. Third tackle here, a nice scoot from Isaac Luke, finds room around the ruck, gets the pass out to Vatsuva backing up, and he's gonna pass it to Kata, as he races away here for the first try of the game. That was a dope little um, sniping run from Isaac Luke. We've had a lot of success with our dummy half running, created a lot of tries there too, as we slot the two points off Johnson and tie the game up. 23 minutes in, second tackle, Isaac Luke once again finds space around the ruck. Another big run, this time he runs away from support. It doesn't amount to anything, but I just wanted to show that dummy half runs on this game are effective as we throw a nice little ball to Cutter here, running onto it. Outside their 40, 31st minute, we go to Johnson, nice short ball, a loose pass by Lilliman. And we're just throwing it around here, we almost lose it. Fifth and last, still inside their 30. As we go to Johnson, puts up the bomb, putting Gray under pressure, and Vatuve makes the catch, gets the pass away to Cutter, and we score our second try of the game. I think I mentioned this in the last video, but I plan on using Vatuve, not all the time, but you'll probably see him a lot during this series. He's the obvious strike weapon for the team. As we take a look at the halftime stats here, We've got a 6 point lead, 60-40 time possession in our favour, and everything else is virtually identical as we get into the second half. 11 minutes in, and we're attacking their line, putting a little grabber through, but it's going to get saved by Inglis as he makes it into the field of play. It was a terrible kick really as uh, Clark fends one off, and he gets the ball stripped from him. Lingi Sao it is. Outside the 20, we go to Foreign, nice short ball to Hoffman, and it's going to get wrapped up, 5 out. Third tackle, we go left, and we're pretty much wrapped up on the spot. A waste of a tackle there, as we look to go wide to foreign. We drop it on the toe for our halves partner, Sean Johnson, gets the bounce, fends one off, and he's gonna get held up by two defenders, but we do manage to ground the ball. A nice little try from our halves working together, as we slot it from right in front, further extend that lead to 12. 57 minutes in, 12 point lead, we short here to Cutter, and it's gonna take the tackle. Inside our 30. A little scoot from Ashford gets the fin going, and it's gonna find room here. Get the pass back away to uh, Sean Johnson, that is, as he gets wrapped up, 45 out from their line. Third tackle, two of us is check. We got the overlap, drawing pass to Vatuve, 1 1 off Inglis. And as I slow it down here, we use the referee as a shield. Inglis can't get to us as we race away to score our fourth try of the game. We ground it under the post with an inevitable two points coming. As Sean Johnson slots it, putting us up by 18. There was a cheeky little play there. As we enter the final 10 minutes. And a nice little uh, set piece coming together. As we go wide to Cutter. Probably should have just taken the tackle. We're going to go short to Vatuve here. 
A lot of room to move down the blind side, a chip over the top, we regather and just before we get thrown into touch we pass it into Inglis who catches it and gets thrown into touch by Cutter. Luckily Cutter was there because Inglis would have been off as we uh, chance our arm here off the scrum. Far into two of us, Shek puts the chip over the top for a fussy tour here and we could have had a chance to ground it but I chose to hold on to it here because it would have went dead anyway. As we get held up, that would have been a nice try off the scrum. A couple of minutes remaining, James Gave gets run over by Gray. We're gonna wrap him up from behind with Tour vs Shek. Final play of the game comes off the chest of uh, Cody Walker there. As we take the W here at NIB Stadium full time, 24 points to 6. It was a pretty strong performance from our right side. Perfect from the boot was Sean Johnson. He also picks up Man of the Match as always. Drop that like button for more content. Thank you for tuning in and uh, later.